As we told you Monday, administrators from some school districts in St. Joseph County have been meeting regularly with an innovation nonprofit to build a plan for a CTE hub. They're working on what classes would be offered, where it would be located, and how it would be governed. The answers to those questions will ultimately determine how it's funded. It was really just what we needed in that moment. Karima Fowler is the chief financial officer for South Bend Community School Corporation. In 2020, the district had passed a huge referendum. One of the things that we committed to was um, a career center. Shortly after voters approved it, the South Bend Regional Chamber of Commerce asked to work together. So when the chamber reached out, it was exactly what we needed because we know we can't do this alone. So St. Joe County is the largest county in Indiana that doesn't have a career center. And so we said, you know, maybe it's a time for us to look and see if we need it, how it might work. The chamber hired nonprofit and focus to work with South Bend and other area school districts with the goal of coming up with a plan to build a St. Joseph County career hub concept. So who is at the table right now? What schools, businesses are confirmed as saying, yes, yep. let's collaborate and move forward. On yeah, this. So, so the core really has been South Bend, Mishawaka, Penn, New Prairie, Current Success Academy, um, and the chamber represented business community. Together, all those stakeholders will decide where a CTE hub could be located, what career pathways and certifications would be offered, and how it would be governed. If you envision conceptually, we are strong in healthcare, education, manufacturing, and information technology as a region. We want to build a career hub that increases the amount of student enrollment and qualified workforce. Many schools in the county already offer career and technical education programming. For example, in South Bend, Washington High School is the district's medical and health science magnet school. That would stay in Washington High School and the Career Center would be a supplement to that. And at PHM, students are building homes through its Building and Trades program. They can do a lot at PHM. Josiah Parker oversees all the CTE programming at PHM. So CTE is our career and technical education. So it's courses within business, family, consumer science, construction, manufacturing, health sciences, all that area. He's also part of the team that's collaborating on what a CTE hub in St. Joseph County might look like. We looked at what, what do all of the, the schools that are participating already offer at their school? What does the Elkhart Career Center already offer? Uh, and that's where, kind of where we started a list. We started looking into supplies and materials, equipment, cost of those. The plan is expected to be released in the spring or early summer, but it's still in its early stages. The whole point of being part of the process is it, this is going to make the community better. It's going to, we'll be able to educate more students in more areas. We'll be able to uh, be kind of be specific in certain pathways and criteria that our community needs. It's positive. Um, and it's, you know, everyone coming together to do something for the greater good that can help our um, community for decades to come. The collaboration and planning could also help with how the facility might be funded. I think such is the time as this. Um, I don't know when there's another time that we're going to have an opportunity like what we have right now. And I say that from the standpoint of, I'm, I'm talking about dollars. South Bend Schools is sitting on $10 million in capital referendum funds earmarked for a CTE center. Plus schools in Indiana get regular state funding for CTE. And there are districts who are still searching for ways to spend COVID emergency funds. So we were doing a lot of this anyway. but. By the chamber taking this on and partners coming in, um, this really helps us. It's not going to be as much of a financial burden to come up with the career center as it would be if we were doing it on our own. Once the plan is unveiled, it will be just a plan. School boards will have to sign off on this. More information is on our website right now. In the studio, Kristen Bean, WSBT 22 News.